Stars and bars. What is stars and bars? Stars and bars is a method of problem solving that's usually used in problems where you have to divide a certain amount of things among a certain amount of number of people or boxes. Let's look at a problem. Apples. There are nine apples to be divided among Alex, Bob, and Carl. How many ways are there to do this? Well, let the apples be the stars. We have nine stars, and clearly the people are going to be the bars. But we're only going to use two bars. We'll see why in a sec. There are two bars and nine stars, so there are 11 things total. So our answer is 11 choose 2, or 55 ways to arrange the stars and bars. So you may be a bit confused, so let's take this star and bar combination. We have three green stars, then a bar, two yellow stars, then a bar, and then four blue stars. Essentially, the bars are dividing the people. Essentially, the bars are dividing the apples among three people. Think about this problem. How many cuts are needed to slice a log into three parts? Well, do you need three? No, you only need two. The same logic goes for this question. We only need two bars to divide the apples among three people. So now let's go back to the problem. In the arrangement shown above, Alex gets three apples, Bob gets two, and Carl gets four. Obviously, that isn't the only arrangement we can do. There are nine stars and two bars, yielding 11 objects total. So there are 11 choose two ways to arrange the bars. So our answer is 55. There are nine apples to be divided among Alex, Bob, and Carl. How many ways are there to do this if each person must receive at least one apple? Well, this problem looks very similar to the last one, but it's not. Each person has to receive one apple. So let's take a look at it. Because each person must receive at least one apple, we can just take out one apple for each person. That leaves us with nine minus three equals six apples. Then we can finish with the same way as last time. There are six stars and two bars. 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 choose 2 is 28, so that is our answer. Let's do another method for this problem. There are 9 apples or stars, so we lay them out. But each person must receive at least 1 apple, so we'll add a space between each star. There can only be 1 bar in each space, so each person gets at least 1 apple. So there are 8 spaces and 2 bars, so our answer is 8 choose 2 or 28 again. Both of these methods work, you can really choose which one to use for this problem. Let's look at an example from the AMC 8. This one's the last one from 2019. Alice has 24 apples, and how many ways can she share them with Becky and Chris so that each of the three people has at least two apples? A, 105, B, 114, C, 190, D, 210, E, 380. Well, each person must receive at least two apples, so we'll take out two times three, equals 6 apples, leading 18 to divide. There are 18 stars and 2 bars, so our answer is 20 choose 2 or 190. That is C. And we are done with this question. We can also use a second method for this question, though it is a little bit more complicated. This time, we can't place 2 bars in adjacent spaces, so we have to do more stars and bars. There are 21 spaces above, and we'll change those to stars. We can't place bars before or after the first first and last one respectively, otherwise someone wouldn't receive two apples. Hence, there are 20 remaining spaces to put two bars. Our answer is again, 20 choose two, or 190. So you can use the second method, but it's a bit more complicated and you're more likely to silly. So I would recommend the first one for this question. Let's do another one. But if you're confused from the second method from the last problem, we'll do another one to clear things up. We're at the movie theater. The front row in the theater has 10 seats. David. Edward and Fred can choose to sit anywhere in the front row, but none of them are willing to sit next to each other directly. If nobody else besides the three of them will sit in the front row, how many ways can they be seated? There will be 10 minus 3 equals 7 empty seats in the front row, obviously. We'll let those be our stars. However, in this problem, we can be seated outside the stars because people can be seated on the edge. So we have 8 spaces for the three people to sit in, as shown here. Therefore, the answer is 8 choose 3 or 56 because there are 8 spaces and 3 stars. Can we do the first method with this? Let's take a look. There are 3 stars and 7 bars, but the answer isn't 10 choose 3 because the stars can't be next to each other. You probably can do this, but it's going to be really complicated and tedious, so I'm not going to. Let's do an example from the AMC 10. Pat is to select six cookies from a tray containing only chocolate chip, oatmeal, and peanut butter cookies. There are at least six of each of these three kinds of cookies on the tray. 
How many different assortments of six cookies can be selected? A, 22, B, 25, C, 27, D, 28, and E, 729. We'll let the six cookies each be a star, and our bars will decide what flavor each cookie is. There are three flavors, so two bars. So hence, the answer is 8 choose 2 or 28. That is D. And we are done with this question. So there is a general formula for stars and bars, but I wouldn't recommend using it. It's n plus k minus 1 choose k minus 1, where n is the stars and k represents bars. I wouldn't recommend this because a lot of the time problems put a lot of twists, so it's going to mess you up. So I wouldn't use it. And thank you for watching. That's it. If you have any questions, ask in the comments and goodbye.